Hi guys, today I'm going to be planting tomatoes in pots and I also want to show you what I think are the absolute best tomatoes you could ever grow in a pot. I'm planting my tomatoes in these really huge pots, but you could also use something smaller like a five gallon bucket. The containers that I'm using are really big. They hold a full bag of the 64 quarts of potting soil. I really like the larger size because I'm not great on keeping up with my watering as far as containers go but you guys do what works for you. Your pots do need drainage holes in the bottom. If you don't put the holes in the bottom, you could put a hole here on the side, um, a couple inches up from the bottom of the pot. I have holes in the bottom of this pot. The reason that you might wanna put one here instead of down on the bottom is because when this dries out, this is gonna be your water reserve. So there'll always be wet soil down here in the bottom and the roots can reach down there and get the water if they need it once the plant is large enough. Refilling large pots every year with brand new potting soil can get really expensive. So instead of refilling the entire pot, I like to leave about half of the previous year's potting soil in the pot and then I just refresh it by adding some fertilizer. And this is a 555 balanced fertilizer, any granular fertilizer, and that range will work. You could use a 546 or a 565, anything like that, as long as it has all three nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and P and K. Tomato plants need calcium, so I'm also gonna put a little bit of lime in here. Now I'm just gonna mix this in really good, and I'm going to not make you guys watch me mix this in because I'm gonna do it for a couple of minutes. So I'll be right back to talk to you in just a couple of minutes. I've got that all mixed in. Now I'm gonna put in my new potting soil. This is a really heavy bag, so this might take me a second. Okay, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I've got the potting soil in here and all broken up. I've broken up most of the clumps. And now I'm gonna show you guys which varieties I'm putting in these two containers. And here are the tomato plants that I wanna to talk to you guys about. These are both dwarf tomatoes from the Dwarf Tomato Project. The Dwarf Tomato Project is a collaboration of many gardeners that bred and worked really hard to create these dwarf varieties. If you wanna learn more about the Dwarf Tomato Project, I'll put a link down in the description and you can click on it. They have created so, so many new varieties. You guys have to check it out. These are compact plants. This one, I think, is in the three foot range. This is dwarf confetti, and this one gets to four foot tall, and this one is called Uluru Otra. A lot of people use the term dwarf and determinate interchangeably. They are actually two different things. These are dwarf tomatoes, which means they get to a set height, but Many tomatoes from the Dwarf Tomato Project are not only short and short in stature, they're also indeterminate, which means that they will produce fruit all season long. Some of the varieties in the Dwarf Tomato Project, from what I understand, are a little less determinate than others, but they tend to be indeterminate and some might be semi-determinate. A lot of people like to grow determinate tomatoes in pots because the size is more manageable than trying to grow a big, tall, indeterminate tomato in a pot. And most determinate varieties tend to be your basic red tomatoes. What's so exciting about these dwarf tomatoes is not only are they indeterminate with a short stature, so they're more manageable, but they also come in so many different colors, just like all of the old fashioned heirlooms. This one is dwarf confetti. And this is a yellow tomato with very light red striping. The Uluru, I can, I'm, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Uluru Otra is um, a tomato that is a yellow color, but it also has a, a bit of a green undertone. There's also black tomatoes, purple tomatoes, striped tomatoes, different shaped tomatoes, different sized tomatoes. You can grow full sized tomatoes on these dwarf plants. Be sure to check out that link that I put down in the description so you guys can really have a good look at what they have. I think it's really awesome what they've done. And these are open pollinated varieties, meaning that you can save the seeds from year to year. A couple of places that I know sells seeds for these is Victory Seeds. Also the Sample Seed Shop has some of these dwarf plants from the Dwarf Tomato Project. I've grown one dwarf in the past. It wasn't a Dwarf Tomato Project dwarf. 
but it was a uh, um I don't know, remember how tall it got, two and a half feet, three feet. It was a um, dwarf cherry tomato. It was a yellow one. A lot of dwarf tomatoes have this really pretty rugose foliage. Basically, it's just really crinkly. And look at the size of the stem. This is so stocky. These tomato plants are beautiful. This is gonna be the first tomato that I've planted all year, so I'm so excited to plant this. So to plant a tomato, you wanna to plant it deeper than the soil level of the pot that you already have it in. To do this, I'm gonna break off some of these leaves. I think I'm gonna go ahead and break off this one too, even though I know it's hard to do, but these are gonna grow so fast and they'll make new foliage, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna dig this soil down here, loosen it up and put my plant in. That's not deep enough. I want it deeper than this. So I'm gonna dig down a little bit more and put it in. The reason I'm planting it so deep is because tomatoes grow new roots all along the stem where it touches the soil. And now I'm just gonna fill this in. I'm putting in one plant per pot. I'm gonna put just a regular tomato cage over this. Since this is a dwarf variety, a regular tomato cage should support it just fine. Okay guys, and that's it for this video. I hope you'll check out some of the dwarf tomato project varieties. I think that they are just so awesome. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.